Welcome to my place. Christmas isn't that far away and if you live in a small place and you would like just a small token gesture of Christmas, maybe you've got an old um, relative or an elderly relative that is in a retirement village and you would like to make something for them, I have got you covered. This is what I made probably five years ago. I absolutely love this. It's covered in Swarovski crystals. I put it at the entrance to my house so that when people walk in they go, oh wow, that's lovely, and that's my Christmas. If you didn't want to do something like this, you could actually have a crack at doing something like this, and this is not just Christmas, this could be all year round. I love this type of tree. These are all part of the Kaiser Craft, which is MDF cutout, um, trees that you have to assemble which I'll get to in a wee minute. What I really love about this is from that basic tree structure what I've done is I've stuck on these little things here which are called embellishments and I've painted them and then I've put some dragonflies and some butterflies and then I've suspended some lovely little frames and all I need to do with those is to put some photographs in. This could be wonderful for an elderly person and then for those who want to have some little stroby disco balls I really like this one here. This here you can also get little round discs that go with it that you could also put photographs on so that could be a family tree but it's quite nice that you can do so. what I like about Christmas is you can use them for other th with especially with this is you can use them for other things so there's three different ways with Christmas let me just show you how they all come together you can get these from any craft shop worldwide and we are global now but anyway this is what they look like let me just hold that up so that you can have a good look at it they come in a kit it's the MDF as I said and that needs to be sanded and it needs to be painted so once you get it out of the kit and they usually give you nice little wee sort of like examples of things that you can do and you can see the leaves that I used here which I've kept all white they've actually painted theirs which I thought was quite a nice way of doing things now once they're open the thing is that they will go on to they will become a stand so once this has all been painted that stand that little stand structure there just goes into the other the other thing that you need to do is you need to use a bit of sandpaper any rough edges you need to get rid of those before you sand it and then paint it undercoat it and then put two good coats on top of it you can use an ordinary everyday acrylic paint or you can use enamel enamel takes forever to dry but as a wee tip from me what I suggest you do is to go to your hardware store and buy one of the undercoat or the prep coat and then buy the top coat give the whole undercoat it with your spray and then put a couple of coats of um, top coat on top of that now once you get to that stage there and I'll just put that to one stage because with the magic of television and my good boys we've already prepped this up for you so this is what I have done I've actually painted it up and if you wanted to do the Swarovski crystals there's all sorts of beautiful gems that you can get if you can't afford to buy the Swarovski crystals you can just buy these lovely little packs here what I'm going to do here is put a little glob of glue down into there this is fantastic stuff this glue because the gem bond or the crystal bond glue because once it dries it dries dries really clean and clear it's fantastic right I need my wee paint brush where's my paint brush in here here it is and then all of your little images have all been painted you can see the birds and you can see the flowers so let's just start with the flower here and I'm just going to put a little drop of glue onto each of the flowers and you can be as intricate as you like the tree that I've got over here that there has taken me like three years to get to that stage because it was a token gesture the first year and then I got sick of it but each year I do add a bit more to it which is quite lovely now the other thing that you need to get is a saute stick and what I've done here is I've just got a little ball of beeswax and the reason I'm using that is because some this here is the easiest way of picking them up and you just put that down onto there like that isn't that just the easiest thing these do have a little bit of glue on the but oh I don't trust the manufacturer sometimes because it just doesn't actually go together so you just pick those up put that down onto that little bit of glue there if it does it, sometimes they just you don't need this but I actually like to be using that so that I can just pick those up and you just 
pick them up the little bit of glue there is going to make sure that they stay in there you can do whatever you want to do whatever pattern you're looking for and you just keep going until you have filled up your whole board as I have done here and then you are ready to go for a really quick and easy Christmas but isn't this just fantastic craft shops all over the world it's called Kaiser Craft they're fantastic and they just take all that effort of Christmas out Thank you for coming and spending time with me and I will see you another day.